Okay, here we are in front of Jerome's Holy Family Catholic Church. Built originally in 1896, it burned down and so then they rebuilt in around 1898 or 1900 this brick structure which still exists today in quite excellent condition considering its age. The outside doesn't look terribly nice anymore as you can see, but inside It is still in remarkable condition. Okay. Hopefully nobody's inside. I don't want to disturb anybody. Yep, looks like we're good here. Alright, fuse. The altar toward the front. The Holy Family. Pulpit. Then along the sides are the Stations of the Cross. First of all, Jesus condemned to death. Jesus carries his cross. Jesus falls the first time. The Bible doesn't actually tell us how many times Jesus fell on the way to the cross. Jesus meets his mother. Simon helps Jesus carry the cross. That's uh, Simon from Cyrene in Africa. St. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. That is not recorded in the Bible. Uh, Jesus falls the second time. Back here in the back, there are some votive candles that for a certain amount of money you can light. Over here on the other side, the choir loft stairway, some photos of the history of this church. Confessional booth area. A painting of Pope Pius XI. Here's one of the confessional booths and the chair inside. And then on the other side, here are the rest of the Stations of the Cross. Jesus meets the Daughters of Israel. That is in the Bible. Jesus falls the third time. Jesus is stripped of his garments. Jesus nailed to the cross. Jesus wasn't actually nailed to the cross without even the loincloth on there. He was totally naked when he was crucified. Jesus dies on the cross. Yes, Jesus did die on the cross. Um, Jesus delivered to his mother. Actually, the Bible doesn't record that. It was Nicodemus and Joseph of Arimathea who were the ones who buried Jesus. Although the women did come later um, with the goal of anointing him with spices on Sunday morning. Jesus put in the tomb. Here's some more votive uh, candles here. Um, you notice there isn't a station of the cross, unfortunately, for the resurrection. I think that's kind of a, a bummer that they don't have that, because without the resurrection, the rest of it is meaningless. But it is, it is wonderful that they um, encourage people to take time to reflect on the meaning of the cross, which is that our sins deserve God's judgment. And instead of punishing us, he poured out his anger on his son so that we could be free if we turn from our sins and trust in Jesus alone as our substitute, as our means of reconciliation with the Father. Here's the, the historic uh, pipe organ in the back here. It's been damaged some by rain, but there is a goal of restoring it um, and they're trying to raise donations for that. The, uh, the great news is you can read it for yourself in Ephesians chapter 1 that you can actually be a part of the Holy Family. Now, the, when they when the Catholics say Holy Family, they mean Joseph and Mar Mary and Jesus. But if you read Ephesians chapter one, it talks about how just ordinary, everyday people can become holy in God's sight, and how they can be adopted as children by God, which makes them part of the Holy Family. And it can happen to you too if you turn from your sins and trust in Jesus alone to save you. Not your religious uh, deeds, not, not baptism, not penance, not the sacraments, not uh, good actions that you've done. None of those can pay for our sins. Only the blood of Jesus can. If you trust in Jesus, his death and resurrection for you, you too can be a part of the Holy Family. God bless you. hope you enjoyed this tour.